My name is Stephanie, and I'm the founder and creator behind my brand, Satayu. The mission of Satayu is to encourage you and me to think of all the possibilities with our creative minds. We do this by creating simple, versatile products that inspire one another to take action towards bettering the beautiful world we all live in. I get asked a lot what Satayu means. It is basically a simple play on two words that represent two things I am professionally trained for and passionate about. Also, it is a combination of two languages that represent my cultural background. Tsukaya means style in Japanese, and U means fabric in Chinese. I'm one sixteen Japanese and the remaining Chinese. Tsukaya was established as a platform for me to share my love for nature through the art and illustrations I create, and to promote a lost Japanese cultural art that is zero waste focused called Roshiki, and to educate and demonstrate how to transform and upcycle excesses of personal consumption through products we use daily and love to wear around as a fashion statement. And each and every product is designed with a conscious mind, environmentally sourced and produced. The three main product categories we offer are art prints, broshi key wrapping cloth, and zero waste accessories. We draw inspirations from flowers and underwater animals. Each and every art print has a limited run each year to limit the available consumption, stamped and signed from the year of production. For our broshi key wrapping cloth, where we translate our popular art prints into wearable art such as the scarf I'm wearing. Boshiki is a lost cultural Japanese art dating back to the Nara period, which is more than a thousand years ago. Today, the Japanese uses Boshiki to wrap and carry bundles of things. Take origami. Instead of folding a crane, you tie and fold a piece of cloth into a gift wrap or tote bag that can be repurposed and reused over and over again. Here are a couple of examples of the Boshiki gift wrapping technique with a bottle or jar. For this style of Roshiki gift wrap, I've used a 17 inch Roshiki cloth where I designed and decorated the cloth with Sharpie and the size of the jar within it is about this big. And for this style of Roshiki gift wrap with a handle, I've used a 27 inch Roshiki cloth and this is the size of the bottle within it. So you may ask, why use a cloth over paper? Well, cloth, you can obviously reuse it over and over again. For these two styles of Roshiki, the receiver can either reuse it as a gift wrap for the next person, or use it as a neck scarf like what I'm wearing right now, or even bento box carrier. So imagine instead of wrapping a jar, you can wrap a bento box within it and go to work. Our zero waste accessories were born from the goal to utilize every single inch of raw materials we generate during our Fushiki production process. We plan our entire production process around the main product size and secondary products we plan to make. One of our zero waste accessories is something we have been using a lot lately this 2020 pandemic. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it is the reusable face mask. Unlike most reusable face masks available in the marketplace, we choose to go with the fabric ties to eliminate the use of plastic-based materials such as elastic. Fabric ties are also more versatile as they provide maximum adjustability to fit mold head size and the opportunity for users to create their own unique tying method. You can check out our year loop tying method we have put together over here. Oh, and by the way, our DIY Fushiki kit can also be converted into a double layer reusable face mask with filter pocket. To learn more, you can check out our tutorial over here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow Sutaibu on most of your favorite social platforms to stay connected and learn more about the different ways of Roshiki. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you online. Bye!